Hey everyone, welcome back to Andy Demos. Today I'm taking a look at the latest Llama from Jam Pedals. Still very much an analog delay, but now it has some great new features in the same compact enclosure. Let's take a look. Over the years, you've heard the Delay Llama deliver classic analog Bucket Brigade tones, and you've seen it taken to extremes with expanded features like tap tempo, presets, and pitch warping modulation. Now the Delay Llama Mark III is an offering right in the middle giving you classic analog delay tones with honest reproductions of the Panasonic MN3205 Bucket Brigade chip plus tap tempo in the same compact enclosure as the original. Choose eighth, quarter, or dotted eighth note subdivisions with an easy three-way switch, or use the delay time knob to go up to 600 milliseconds. Plus, this compact Mark III is loaded with cool bypass options that let you choose either true bypass or trails and best of all, how many repeats to fade those trails out with an internal trim pop. This is a great feature to have if you're playing on the verge of oscillation and you want to fade out smoothly when bypassing the pedal. Speaking of oscillation, holding the tap switch gradually ramps to maximum repeat levels, making the Mark III a powerful analog delay without the need for an expression pedal. Like all jam pedals, the Delay Llama Mark III is handmade and hand-painted in Greece with great attention to detail. Check out jampedals.com for the whole lineup of analog offerings. Let's check out the core tone of this analog delay with short analog delay settings, and then we'll get into the other features like tap tempo and plenty of self oscillation. <laughs>
as far as analog goes, it's a very clear sounding delay, especially on those slower settings. You don't hear a lot of that clock noise like you hear from other analog delays. Now, since this is an analog pedal, it really matches well with any kind of dirt you throw at it. It just has a nice way of shaving off some of that high end. So let's try some overdrive, courtesy of the Double Dreamer from Jam Pedals. The great thing about the Delay Llama is that it doesn't really get in the way, even if you have a high level. So let's try it about 1 o'clock and then we'll back it down to kind of the sweet spot, I think, for the slapback, which is about 10 o'clock. Here's another example using a longer delay with high gain and I'm staying on the neck pickup here so it's just a warm sound but the delay stays even warmer. Let's get the feet a little bit more involved here. First, checking out the tap uh, hold feature, which gets you into self oscillation. It could almost be like an expression pedal. And then I've activated the tails mode, and this is done by holding the tap switch and powering on the pedal. You'll see the light blink three times. And what I've done is adjust that internal trimmer to set the decay time. In other words, how many repeats I want to hear when I bypass the pedal. So like I mentioned earlier, if you have it kind of on the verge of oscillation or you're just playing through the oscillation, you could bypass the pedal and hear only maybe four or five repeats.
Well, there's your look at the Delay Llama Mark III, quite the Goldilocks pedal. It's still compact, but it has a lot of features like you just saw. You could check it out and a whole range of analog effects from Jam at jampedals.com. Thanks for watching.